Hey Ben, I was about to shut down my computer, but I saw your comment, uh, and since you're online, uh, I'll do it right away. So first, uh, let's do a picture, so I'm just going to grab a screenshot, oh, sorry, I was about to forget this, there we go, screenshot. It's a little buggy with the uh, keycaster I'm using with GIMP, otherwise it works flawlessly with everything else. So we've got an image. Now let's do a quick video. I am a bit tired, so uh, bear with me. Do -ba do. So here's the image. And for the um, video, let me just grab one from my previous tutorial. All right. Okay. Okay, so we have a quick video here. Okay, there we go. Stupid me. Okay, so now we have a video. And we have an image. How would you do a fade out? Well, it's very simple. First, you select the video. See here, the opacity. There's a little keyframe icon. Just click, let's say, around here. You click once, and then you place another one, and that's it. And you can just go to next. Now you don't see them, of course. Uh, you need to click the um, curve icon, then you can see them. And when your cursor becomes like a north, east, west, south kind of arrows, just click and drag. And what happens when you press play? It fades out. Same thing here, I could do the opposite. Um, let's do a fade in. Select the media first. Insert a marker. Not too close. Let's insert the second marker. Open the curves and oh changes. Click. There you go. So voila. This is how we do it. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, and if you ever have any questions, you can drop me a comment or an email. Thank you, and good night.